this is Chill Computer Guy. We are here in Bitwig Studio. We are in a range mode. Very exciting. We haven't been in a range mode in a while. Um, we are going to talk about automation. Now, automation is uh, a little bit different in Bitwig Studio. Now, the main thing to remember, there's two different types of automation. There's a track-based automation, which I often will find myself referring to as global. If I say global automation, I'm referring to track-based automation. Now there's also a clip-based automation. The clip-based automation is quite a bit more complex. We're going to actually tackle the uh, track automation or the global automation first. So first off, we're going to chuck in a polysynth. This is the, uh, the Bitwig uh, uh, default patch for the polysynth. Pretty boring. We're going to make it a little bit more and try to just kind of fix it up here real quick. All right, good enough. That's just a basic uh, basic patch. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's create a uh, one bar clip here. Double click that to center it. Uh, we're gonna go into the uh, A note right here, which if you go over to here, like bump that out. If you bump it out wide enough, you'll be able to see your, uh, your actual note here. So let's just create a simple little thing. Doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Yeah, let's take that out a little longer. There we go. Let's take that. Let's go ahead and duplicate that over here. Yeah, isn't that? It's a masterpiece. Oh my gosh. Let's play that. Everybody get together. Like, clap your hands and fuck around, girl. Okay, that's that. So, again, this is just to, uh, just to prove a point. Uh, double click that again. It'll center it. Now, to add automation... There's several different ways to do it. There's the complex way. There's, of course, you can you can just, you know, play it in. You can just hit record and, and turn your knob, and it will record the automation. But I, I prefer to just kind of kind of write it right in myself with the, with the mouse or, or whatever. First off, the automation is three horizontal bars. If you click here, you'll get this drop down menu. And you can go to your, your polysynth and you have this just massive menu of every possible control. Same with the VST, uh, the same with the third party plugins. You're going to have this huge list. But what is actually easier to do is if you double click on here and go back to your instrument, any control you hover over, you have the option to right click, add automation lane. So filter frequency cutoff add automation to the, the resonance, and then we'll add an automation lane to the split the oscillator. So the mix between oscillator one and two, the filter cutoff, and also the resonance. Three very popular. And you click on this star, you will see an, a separate lane for all those automations. Now you can continue adding them. You know, if we go to the pitch, add automation lane, it'll actually show up right there. And so you can see all your automation lanes as you create them. This is easier than going through that giant menu, in my opinion. Just right-click, add automation lane, and then later on you'll have a drop-down menu, and you'll be able to select the automation lane that you want to use. Now, while this is open, let me show you. If you click on the star here, this will favor this particular automation. So if you click off, it will just be the stars. If you click it again, it's going to be all of them. Click it. So... You can kind of switch between the automation that you're working on and all your automation. A pretty handy little thing there. Let's go ahead and uh, turn all these stars off because right now we want all four automation lanes. Now, if you click right on the point, you click once, it creates an automation point. If you're off, see this thin line here? If you're off the line, you have to double click. Okay, so if you're on the line, a single click. If you're off the line, a double click. So that's a pretty important point, and that applies to clip automation as well as track or global automation. Now you can actually lasso these, and if it's black, it's selected. And if you go to your inspector, you can actually double click right here and put in an exact amount. 
which is, is pretty nice, pretty handy. And then if you lasso more than one automation point, you'll get your histogram. And at this point, you can uh, do all kinds of uh, spread and things and uh, super, super powerful. This is kind of a bit with exclusive as far as the uh, same thing you can do with your velocity or your, just like all that, you also have a histogram for your automation points, which is, is pretty cool. So right on the line, you single click off the line, you double click. We'll create some quick automation here, blah, 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 blah. There it goes. This is probably way too much. Now, if you put it in between and hold the Alt, you will get a curve. You can create some curved automation. Curved automation, always fun. Get a little curved automation in there. Very nice. And then if you uh, can hit Control, you'll select more than one automation point, And you can, of course, move that, drift that around. Um, but the important thing about this is... The track automation is going to appear as blue. So down here, you'll see in the instrument, you have a little blue dot. That means all these parameters are being automated, but the blue dot is representative of track automation as opposed to clip automation. Now the clip automation is a pink or a red dot. Now, something I wanna show you about track automation is if you move it, your automation is gonna move. Now why that is, is because this right here is clicked. If this is orange, your automation is going to follow your clip. Now, if you unclick that, if you move your clip, your automation is going to stay. And that, to me, is, is a really, really powerful point because I prefer to set up my notes and my auto. I, I want my automation to happen at certain sections of my song, and so I want it to really be track-based as opposed to clip-based. And so this is, this is on by default. So I recommend if you're gonna work with track automation, turning this off, because that way you can write in your automation, move your clips around, and it's never gonna affect your automation. And so I recommend turning that off. And that right there is, uh, is uh, track automation. So let's go ahead and play this obnoxiousness. Oh, that's beautiful. Now something to keep in mind, if you turn this parameter, if you turn any parameter that's automated, you'll get a green dot. What that green dot means is you're overriding your automation. And you'll see it lights up green right here. All you need to do is click this and it will reset your automation. You'll drop right back down onto your automation lane. And so that's pretty much track automation right there, 101. Uh, next time we're going to look at clip-based automation, which is a more complex automation, believe it or not. And we're going to talk about relative and absolute automation as well. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Chill Computer Guy. Please subscribe.